Hello, it's Tom here. I thought I'd give you some quick fire tips and tricks so that you can get cracking with your pen as soon as it arrives. So here I'm loosening the tip cover and then you can take out uh, the tip inside. If it's already inky, you can use the silicon tip grip. It's also very handy for loosening this part here, uh, which exposes the reservoir. Also worth noting is that unlike the writing tips and fine liners, all you need to do to install a felt tip is push it in through the top of the tip cover. When your pen is brand new, it may be just a touch tight, in which case you can use the tip cover and some needle nose pliers to loosen the tip holder. So here you can see I've popped the reservoir in a lovely iris ink and it's drawing all of that ink up into the tip. I tend to leave it in there for about 20 seconds or so. It doesn't matter if it doesn't quite reach the tip. After a minute or so, it will do. And then you can just use a piece of kitchen roll or tissue just to get off any excess. And then as you can see, it's got to the tip. So these are my handy little reservoir containers, which keep them nice and airtight. You can swap in and out colors. They also come with some labels so you can easily tell which is which. You can put tips in there too, uh, and then just pop the label on, and then you can swap them in and out at your leisure. So it's important to know which inks to use in the Lumos. This is fountain pen ink, which is absolutely fine. And this is acrylic ink or Indian ink or drawing ink, uh, which actually contains a binder, which can clog the pen. So just make sure you refill it with fountain pen ink. So I've designed the pen and the cap with what are called triple start threads, which means that you can remove the cap really quickly. But what it does mean is that you have to make sure that those three threads are aligned when you pop the cap on. So if you do hit a snag, just release it slightly and start again. I hope that's been a helpful video for you, but if you do have any more questions, then please don't hesitate to get in touch.